let's check out the seafood king crab $29.99 for that $47 for this lobster tails $24.99 $35 a fillet $35 $35 the tuna looks delicious $16.99 a pound that looks nice but $37 for that chicken breast tenderloins $18.59 so man chicken I can't even afford chicken anymore three pounds of apples is eight dollars now three pounds eight dollars holy cow two pounds of organic chicken nuggets is $13.99 <laughs> it's a little pricey for chicken fifteen dollars for this black truffle hot sauce I don't know if it's worth it maybe just the name that's what they're trying to sell well today is Wednesday and we're here at Costco my wife is with me today so we'll get to see her so anyways we're gonna head in we're gonna do some shopping compare prices see how we're getting screwed <laughs> anyways you know I watched a uh, I watch YouTube a lot and I, I like to watch the financials on there and I saw they were interviewing Alan Greenspan holy smolies he used to be the federal chairman and um, they were asking him, what, what do you do about the shrinking dollar? And you know what he said? His answer was, well, we'll just print more. We can do it. And that's the, this is the reason that we're in the problem that we're in is because we keep printing in, in the U.S. dollar here like this, this thing just keeps on shrinking. And I was reading that um, compared to 1971, the U.S. dollar is only worth 13% of what it was. And, and to me, I think it's only worth two cents now. I remember, I was think I was 12 years old when I was uh, in 1971, and a dollar really wasn't worth that much anyway. Holy smolies, but now this thing isn't even worth two pennies to rub together. <laughs> Holy smolies. But anyways, uh, we're going to head in here, check some prices. Let's have some fun. Well, I'm trying to find some some peanuts and they're honey roasted. There goes my wife. <laughs> anyways, uh, macadamia nuts are $18.99. I think they're about the same price, but look what sea salt. Oh, these guys are good in ice cream. <laughs> oh my gosh. And almonds, look at $9.99. I think they were, and these are three pounds. They're about the same price as they were two and a half at Sam's. They had a three pound bag at Sam's. See, Costco is a little more. And here's some honey roasted nut mix. And I don't want the nut mix, and it's $13.89 for this. It's not even two pounds, but look at what you get in there. Oh, this, these, these look fantastic, don't they? $13.89, how would that taste on my ice cream? Oh my gosh. Oh, and here's my favorite pralines. We sent several of these to the Philippines, and they're on the ship right now <laughs> in the container. But I want to find some peanuts like this, $7.89 for this. 40 ounces, two and a half pounds, super extra large, $7.89. I want them honey roasted just for my ice cream. I'm a snack hound, you know that. Unsalted cashews, $13.99. And um, I can't stand unsalted stuff. I gotta have my salt. I just don't see any salted cashews. Now these are fancy with sea salt. And they're, look at that. Oh, those are mixed nuts. Where's the price? I don't see it. I bet they're, no, they're $12.49. There it is, $12.49. They look good. They're big. They're monsters. <laughs> but I don't see my um, honey roasted peanuts. I don't see them. Dang it. Well, I'll keep looking. Well, I'm going to get some of this stuff focused faster right here. And um, I used it before. And uh, my job that I do, I I have to be sharp. I do a lot of spreadsheets and cost estimates. So seven seventeen ninety nine nutrition for the brain. Look at that. I've taken this before when I was studying for my general contractor's exam. So I think I need some. I'm forgetting a lot. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I'm gonna get. I hope I can focus a lot faster. But <laughs> okay, now I want to get my Rayos here. And you know, I did read that Campbell's had or Campbell's bought Rayos, and the CEO, the CEO of Campbell said that he will not change the Rayos formula in any shape, way, or form. And you know what? Um, I don't believe him. Uh, he's the CEO, and he said he's not going to change it. Eleven ninety nine for for two of these guys. And uh, you know what? I don't know what the expiration dates are on these, but I'd like to take a couple cases of them. I may never see it again. The same flavor, it just may disappear. Oh my gosh. So if if Rayos isn't any good anymore and Campbell screws it up, um, I don't know about some of this stuff. Uh, tomato basil doesn't look bad. I don't I don't I don't think I like the Classico. I've never tried it. I just it doesn't look good. Something like this just looks more attractive. 839, that's 1269 and uh, 
rails $10.99 for that and some of this Victoria organic could be a runner-up I don't know I'd have to try it but oh my gosh marinara organic here $8.49 for this that's not bad that's not bad but you know I'm sticking with the rails I don't you know I'm gonna go with the winner but three dollars and fifty cents off for this that's not a bad price I I don't know if I should buy it or not I'm I'm kind of hooked on rails <laughs> Look at the price of these, these Oodin noodles. And I like to watch the cooking shows and I like to watch it about the Oodin noodles. And these are pricey, $18.99. And there's really nothing to this box. This box is extremely light. You just add water to it. You get six bowls in here and they're plastic. I bought these before when they were $12.99, but I will not spend $18.99 on that. That's too pricey. And these are just the packets, um, whatever they are. I can't pronounce that. But um, look at that, $16.79. That's just too pricey for me. Here's rice ramen, $8.99 for this. And I don't know, I don't know about this. Just add water to it, but it just seems, everything seems pricey here. Now here's some more ramen, $11.99. I don't know, people, look at this. There's nothing to this. This is just as, as light as a feather. Look at this, it's just light. Look at that. Just, just so so light for twelve dollars because you just add water just add water and here's the Vietnamese pho and this is the same thing this is just a light box for eleven ninety nine and you're just supplying the water just a few ingredients the same thing with this look at these noodles like this with a little bit of chili oil this is this is a, as light as a feather twelve forty nine add your own water oh my gosh don't forget to add your money too <laughs> you gotta buy it no, oh, just an FYI for everybody here. This is the second um, lone sighting of or, uh, uh, Victoria Organic spaghetti sauce that people have taken out of their basket and just left there. So I think that's a good sign. They don't want it. Truff infused hot sauce. So truffle hot sauce, fourteen ninety nine for this. Now where is this stuff made? New York City? No, it's not made there. <laughs> I don't know where it's made. It doesn't really, it doesn't say, believe it or not, but it's $14.99. I don't know if anybody's ever tried this, but $15 for this black truffle hot sauce. I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe just the name. That's what they're trying to sell. Now here's the hot sauce I would take is the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And you get two of these, look at these big jars right here. And Frank's is great. It's great on chicken wings. It's, it's great on ribs. It's great on a lot of stuff. And then Cholula, $9.99. If you want the Walmart, one of these would be $7.99. If you want the Publix, one of these would be $9.99. That's a good buy, and this is fantastic stuff. Really high in vinegar, and that's a real wood. That's real wood in there. Delicious stuff. Oh, uh, here's the Kirkland olive oil, and it's comparable in price to what I bought Monday at Sam's Club, and but $35. So I held this up before. I think that's really pricey, $35.99 for two of these guys that's crazy and you can tell it's clear and it's just very thin olive oil and here's the darker one $23.99 $23.99 for one of these guys now that's crazy it's just a little bit too pricey for me I better put that in there <laughs> I don't want it to fall but it's plastic I like that and here's the signature olive oil I think this is comparable to what I got at Sam's not the other stuff Kirkland signature organic so it's about the same price oh here's some crazy pine nuts you know last time at these came down in price they were they were 33 dollars and now now they're 29 i still think that's an insane price for pine nuts you get a pound and a half crazy but they have come down look at that they've come down three dollars as if it's a bargain i know what i wanted when i when i came here i want these Orita fries and I'm going to get them $10.99 for eight pounds of the Orita fries. I got to get them out of here. Look at this. They're so frozen in here. But eight pounds for $10.99 is just hard to beat. Come on, guy. There it is. $10.99 for eight pounds of these Orita crinkle cut fries. That's a good deal right there. I got it. I knew I was going to get these. And these will last. Look at now. This is what I call a family size. Look at that. That's eight pounds. That's a deal right there. Ten ninety nine. Here's some of their wild caught golf shrimp, which I recommend anything wild caught. And if these are golf shrimp, these are monsters too. Nineteen eighty nine. So that's that's ten dollars a pound. These look really good. 
man, I tell you, and I look at the raw, ready to cook, shell on. Oh, shell on. I want them with shell off, but still, 1989. What a good deal. What is this stuff? Prawn Hako? I'm, I guess I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's $15.99. Oh, they, they're, they're little dumplings here. Uh, handcrafted, ready in three minutes. I'm going to show my wife. Let's see what she says on that. Here's the Argentine shrimp. It's $21.49 and it was $19, no, $17.99 on sale at, and they're smaller at, at Sam's. It was cheaper at Sam's. $21.49 here. It's a little pricey at uh, Costco, but uh, they're still good food. But $21.49. That's about four or five dollars more than Sam's. Oh, they're wild caught, caught scallops. Oh, it's two pounds. Two pounds is $34.99. So this actually makes them cheaper because a pound and a half was $29.99. And they, doesn't that look good? That picture, they can, they can make anything look good in the picture. But $29 at uh, Sam's. Those look really good. I don't want my wife to see those. Oh, here's some dumplings. $13.89. $13.89. My wife has an air fryer and we've been trying it out. And you get you get two and a half pounds of these. Chicken and vegetable sauce included. My wife makes some really good sauce. I'm gonna have to show her this because we came shopping for food today. If I can get it back in there, but $13.89. I'll show her that stuff. Here's the beer batter cod, $18.99 here. But you get two and a half pounds and you get two pounds at, at Sam's and it was, I think, $13.99. They make the package look better here, wild caught Alaska, so maybe that's why. That's probably why. $18.99 though, if you want to spend the money. I wanted to buy some chicken, but their chicken is more money here. Tyson Chicken Strips is $15.59 for three pounds. I don't like the price of that. Crispy chicken strips, that's a little, this is pricey. That's not the price at, at Sam's. Chicken nuggets, organic platter, $13.99 for two pounds of chicken nuggets. That's crazy, but they're organic. Two pounds of organic chicken nuggets is $13.99. <laughs> it's a little pricey for chicken. $17.99 for lightly breaded chicken bites. Chicken bites here. Just bare. Lightly breaded chicken bre chunks, breast chunks. Oh, I can't talk. No antibiotics ever. So they can't lie, right? No hormones or steroids on these chickens. But they they grow in three months to full to full size. So Tyson chicken strips, $16.99. It's pricey here at uh, at Costco. My gosh. And it's cold in this freezer, too. <laughs> Eight, $18.59 for these guys. But you get five pounds. Panko, Panko chicken breast tenderloins, $18.59. So, man, chicken. I can't even afford chicken anymore. Hold it. Hold the, hold the phone. I found something. Tyson Panko chicken nuggets. They're Tyson. Five pounds, ten seventy-nine. I I I think I scored here, so let's pull one of these guys out. Panko chicken nuggets, but does it so no antibiotics ever? Ten seventy-nine. And you know what? I think I'm I think I'm gonna try them. Why not? You know, I take them to work with me, and it's just easier. Hundred percent all natural ingredients. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, I see another item we're gonna get. These pops, pot stickers, Ling, Ling Ling pot stickers, $9.59, and we bought these before and they were great. These were fantastic in the in the air fryer, the Ninja Air Fryer, $9.59 for these guys. I gotta get these. And there they go with the chicken. Look at that, chicken and vegetable in the air fryer, and look at this, you get, you get 4.2 pounds 4.2 pounds for $9.59. I had to get out of the way. It's a little crowded in here, but look at that. Ling Ling pot stickers. I love them. $9.59 for this. Over four pounds of pot stickers. I like it. I found the bargain. <laughs> I see some chicken strips here for $7.49. $7.50 off. That's a little suspicious. Half price. I wonder why. Something's telling me people aren't buying these. I mean, why would you put something half off food, right? It said real good foods. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know when people people name their company, it's usually something the opposite, right? Real good foods. 
I don't know. I'm going to pass on it. I don't I don't trust anything half off here, especially food that's discounted. Yeah, I, I passed on the chicken. I, I don't trust anything that's half price. And like I said, when I was shopping at Sam's, even the Markdown Seafood, I definitely don't trust that. So, But we're going to go look at the chicken and the seafood now. I'm trying to find some wingettes here. Chicken tenderloins here are $3.79 a pound, and this big package is $27.00. That's a lot. A little pricey for the whole thing. Boneless chicken thighs, $2.99 a pound. And where are the, here are the drumsticks, $0.99 cents a pound. And I like how they package stuff here at Kirkland. Really nice. There's two in each package. Where are the party, party wings, $2.50 a pound. And I'm going to try them in the air fryer, but $18 a package. Hatched, raised, and harvested in the USA. I hope so. I hope they weren't shipped overseas. But, oh my goodness, $18 for a whole package. I don't know if I should buy it. I don't know. Oh my gosh. But these are the wingettes. They're where they cut the wing, and they're just pieces of it. Kind, kind of like what you get in the restaurant, but they're big wings. I'm going to have to think about it, but $2.50 a pound. Well, guess what? I, I went with the chicken drumsticks. It's $8.74. And I, I put that in the package, look at, in the basket. Look at this. Look what mysteriously appeared in my basket. Panda, panda chocolates and um, whatever these are. And, and you know what? If I asked my wife what the price is, she'd say, I don't know. I just grabbed it and put it in there. <laughs> Boneless chuck roast. It's the same price as Sam's, $5.99, but it looks really good. And here's these monster beef bones, $27, $4.99 a pound. I bet these are really good. These are off the uh, from the ribeye when they cut it out, and these are these are just absolutely delicious. I like these guys, man. Let's check out the seafood king crab, twenty nine ninety nine for that, forty seven dollars for this. Lobster tails, twenty four ninety nine. Look at them all. Shrimp, nine ninety nine a pound. And here's the whole red snapper here, six forty nine a pound. Uh, tilapia, $3.99 a pound. They're all farm raised, of course. Tilapia fillets, $6.49. Now I'm getting to the salmon. $9.99 a pound, but $35 a fillet. $35, $35, $33. I need to find something affordable. The tuna looks really good. The tuna looks delicious. $16.99 a pound. That looks nice, but $37 for that. Wild sockeye is $10.99 a pound, $26 a package. And this is this is naturally red like this. It's almost orange, $28. So I'm gonna let my wife pick it. You know, I'm not gonna have much say so. $23 for one of these. She might go for this. She might go for this. Sell by $8.25. We'll see what she wants to do. Raised without antibiotics, so <laughs> that means they're not wild. <laughs> but look at that. So here's the farm-raised Atlantic, and here's the sockeye. See the difference? You know I'd pick this in a heartbeat. Oh, here's some chili and sea bass for $24.99 a pound, $37 for that. $24, $30, $31, $37. Holy cow, chili and sea bass, $25 a pound. I tell you, fish is the most expensive protein in the supermarket. Holy cow, I believe it. Here's the, here's the same farm raised $9.99 different packages $21 see if I would have saw this at Sam's I would have bought it I would have bought it and I would have made my wife happy but and here's some that are cut and it's $9.99 a pound but my wife wants to cut them herself she does special things with them <laughs> but um, still the same price and it's cut but she wants it skinless and um, I don't think this has a skin on it, and that's what she wants. So after after multiple discussions, my wife has decided to get this and spend twenty-five dollars. And uh, you know what? I'm getting it. And <laughs> not not too bad. Nine ninety-nine a pound, boneless, skinless. And I'm gonna put it. Where can I? Oh, look at this. There's bed sheets in here. Holy cow! <laughs> See, bed sheets are appearing. I know these are. Let me get them off the uh, chicken here. But I know those are expensive. But uh, we'll find out once we get to the register, right? Look at the price of this cinnamon raisin bread. Seven, seven ninety nine for this, and it's one point eight eight pounds for eight dollars for bread. That's a little, a little bit pricey for my taste. 
And what is what is the other bread here? Five ninety nine. You get two country French breads, five ninety nine, and they're a pound each, so that's three dollars a loaf if you buy two of them, and seven ninety nine for the multi grain. Man, pricey bread here. Oh, look at the apples, seven ninety nine for three pounds of apples. Can you believe it? The packages are shrinking. Oh my gosh! And seven ninety nine for ten pounds of bacon potatoes. I'd rather have the potatoes than the apples, but. Oh my gosh, Gala, I'm not too happy about that. Three pounds of apples is eight dollars now. Three pounds, eight dollars, holy cow! Christmas and summertime, the Christmas stuff is out at Costco already. Look at the Charlie Brown trees, $129, can you believe it? You think they'd wait till after Labor Day to put out the Christmas supplies, but they're out already! <laughs> my wife is shopping for pants here, and I think these are a good deal. These are sweatpants, $12.99, hun, I think this is a good deal. But um, I, she doesn't need the XXL. We got to find the extra small, and I don't know if they have it. But twelve ninety nine for these, and they're not bad. These are pretty good quality here. I'm I've been impressed with Sam's and Costco clothing. Well, there's our grocery haul for the day. Look, it got the rails. I got my Focus faster. Almost forgot these, <laughs> the Oritas. We got the uh, salmon. I got the uh, pot stickers. I got the chicken nuggets. My wife got though. A, bed sheets i got my i chickened out and i got the chicken the drumsticks and my wife got these panda things and, and whatever the heck these are i have no idea now she's looking at clothes so anyways we're gonna check out well that was our shopping haul today at uh <laughs> you didn't get to see much of my wife every time i turned the camera on she ran the other way <laughs> anyways we got a lot of stuff on the honeydew list and i got our salmon that that's the most important thing and i got and i chickened out and i got the chicken legs instead not the not the wings anyways i hope everybody enjoyed the show give me a thumbs up for like don't forget to hit the subscribe button until next time this is scott with the real economy we'll see you